All right, guys, welcome back to my channel, Real McCoy 411. I am so hype over this thick thing of mane on top of my head. <laughs> I'm in love with my hair, guys. I'm going to be doing a simple twist out. Actually, twist up, then twist out on dry hair, only using almond and avocado curling cream. Absolutely love this stuff. Just purchased it the other day and it smells just so great. So I'm doing a twist out, but I'm going to be doing it on dry hair. Um, it's just, I had to pick my hair out to do a length check. So I have a video before this actually showing um, when I did my big chop in April compared to now so I did a lint check video and since I already had it picked out it was fresh it was clean I was like let me go ahead on and do something with it I'm um, learning that doing protective styles right now are my best friends so protective styles are awesome I couldn't decide at this point am I going to use a comb am I going to use a big two comb Am I going to use a brush? <laughs> brush it is. So I'm just going ahead and making sure that it's detangled. That I don't have any kinks or knots or anything. I can't, I'm, I'm just, whew, I'm shocked that I can even, that I'm even at that point where I can check and detangle and do all this stuff. It's just amazing what's going on with my hair. Okay, I'm going to be starting with this section. I'm going to put two twists in. Once again, only using the almond and avocado oil by Designer Essentials. Even though I'm going to be doing two, I'm just going to go ahead and moisturize that section. And then I'll split it up into two and do the twist. Right there, I'm just raking in the product, making sure that it gets to every strand of my hair. So I'm going to go ahead and separate. Mm. Begin the twisting. I don't know, it's kind of odd for me to start it on the top right there instead of the bottom, but I guess I was thinking about where I was going to put my hair. So. so once you get through with the twists, you make sure you get down to the end, twirl it to secure it, and that's it. <clears throat> I'm going to do the same thing to this bottom piece. Um, I wanted to let you guys know while I'm doing this row, this product is so moisturizing. It is very, it's not very thick. It's very moisturizing though. It's a thick product. My hair is thick. So it slides onto your hair like butter. And it holds. It's a very good. I, I have not tried the other pieces. That's me trying to zoom in so that you guys can see exactly what I'm doing. But if... I have not tried all of their line yet, but just by using this cream and using the spray, which is the Curl Mister, like a curl control, frizz control, I'm thinking about actually trying the whole line. They have a shampoo, they have a leave-in conditioner, 
they have a co-wash and I don't know if I'm going to try to co-wash yet because I'm really big with using the Biotene Boost as my shampoo and conditioner. But the way this product makes my hair feel is really a plus. Really a plus. So on this part, I'm just going to do one twist. I was just trying to show you there my curl pa curl pattern, which I still up in the air on. I consider myself a 3C, 4A curl pattern. I do have low porosity hair. I have high density hair. But this product works like butter. It just melts into your hair. And that's a plus for me because being low porosity, it's kind of hard to get that moisture into your hair. But once you get it in your hair, it's going to stay in your hair. And this, I'm not using the my warm water like I used to because of the weather. So I've been trying to find things that I can do without having to wet my head. And for me to be able to just use this product by itself to put up my twist. It's, yeah, it was quite quite nice right there if you get to the point where your tips of your twist feel a little dry just go ahead and put a little extra cream on the tip because that's the oldest part of your hair and you want to make sure that it is moisturized completely from the root of your hair down to the ends, to the tips of your hair, you want to make sure your hair is moisturized. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I have not learned yet how to speed up the video. I am new to the editing world. <laughs> so I'm not going to just let you guys watch me twist my whole head if i knew how to speed up the video i would speed it up and let you see me doing it but i don't want to put you through that <laughs> i really don't so i'm going to go ahead and do this one and then i think at this point i'm going to go into another section but i'm going to come back with you guys but you can see right here, that's just the back part twisted up. <laughs> Look there. Showing you that curl on the end. Want to make sure that ends have moisture as well. Okay. And it the product does not make your hair feel heavy at all. At all. So, so far I've done all that in the back and on the sides. And I had that one homie the clown part left. Lord. I'm, I'm amazed. I sit here and I, I look at this and I'm really just amazed that I'm at a point where I can, where I even need to use hair clips. My hair is growing and it's so healthy. I've been on this journey, this natural journey forever, but I have never been on a healthy hair natural journey, never. I always cut my hair and do the big chop and then I'll go get a perm. And then I cut my hair, go get a perm. I never took the time to take care of my hair. I would always slick some gel on it and pull it back. That's all I would do. So actually falling in love with your hair. If you can fall in love with your hair, then I can say that you are truly on a natural hair journey. That's 
just my opinion. I mean, I fell in love with my hair. The hair that God gave me. The hair that naturally comes out of my my scalp. The texture of my hair. The feel of my hair. Everything about my hair, I fell in love with. Everything. Just trying to get a close-up twist here. Just to show you guys. For some out there who may not know how to twist. I don't have the long hair yet. To show you how to twist. But this is how you twist on short to medium hair. Get it, get it. Get it, get it. Work it, work it. Work it, work it. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> okay, I am going to put four last ones. Four last twists up in front of my head. And this part, this very part right here in the very front, used to be, it was cut on accident by me. I was trying to trim my hair. And it was pretty much just like up there at the top of your hair, just ready to lay down like baby hair. It wasn't long. The length was gone. And (laughs) I just couldn't believe that it was actually, it had even grown back from me cutting it. And now I'm up here actually putting a twist in it. It was interesting. Very interesting. I could actually make a twist out of that mess up. This is the last one. So I decided to go ahead and combine both of these videos. That's why it is the length that it is. It is me showing you how I put my twist up up at night on low porosity hair. Adding absolutely nothing but the cream. Which the cream has the water in it and the cream has the oil in it as well. So I did not wet my hair. I did not go to sleep with a wet head. Extra. So extra. Gotta love her. (laughs) Me getting ready to put on my silk bonnet. When you see the silk bonnet come out, you know that it is time. It's either time to shower and lay down, or it's time to lay down. All right, that's the first half. We're going to get ready now for the second half, which is going to be the takedown. If you can look at my hair, you see all the shine in my hair. Do you see the moisture in my hair? I have not even did the oil yet. I'm just now about to show you guys the oil. And the oil that I'm going to use is the tea tree oil. I'm going to use that just to put a little on my hair. And they say it actually makes it easier to take your twist down. And it will prevent some of the frizz. So, I applied a small amount to my hair, but guys, look at that. That's all product. That is all designer essentials. All of it. All that shine that you're going to see, that's designer essentials. And your hair feels so soft. So soft. And I'm going to show you a point in this video where I actually learned a lesson. Um, because after I started taking down the twist, and now that I had a chance to go back and review the video, I'm going to show you a point where I should have just left it alone. Because look at it. It's shining. 
It's healthy looking. You can barely see my scalp. And this is just from me taking it down. So I made a couple of mistakes in this video that I see for myself that I'm going to point out to you guys. I was trying to show you the definition. And then with those mistakes, we're going to take that as a learning, a lesson learned. And moving forward, we won't make that mistake again. Um, because I saw two things I did that would have probably made this twist out come out ten times better than what it did. I mean, look at the definition, guys. Do you see the definition? One product. One product on dry hair overnight. Now, I'm going to start here with the with the problem I made. If you're going to uh, mess with the twist after you've taken them down or take down a couple more pieces once you've taken it down and I only have that one line shining, showing in my head of my scalp, I should have left it alone. I should have left it alone. I kept putting my hands up there. I kept creating frizz. And then on top of that, I'm going to take a pick. Yeah, I was telling you about the shine. I'm going to take a pick to lift it. And I should have only done that probably in the front, maybe on the sides, but right here, I should have never put that pick in my head in the back. The back was perfectly fine. And it created frizz. As you can tell from those sections that I'm touching right there, it's like, okay, what happened to the definition? So on this part, I decided I wanted to just like put up a little piece because I had created frizz. So I was going to put up a little piece in the front and just let, you know, take let the back be the way it is. But take my word, ladies. If you're going to do a two-strand twist and once you take it down and you separate it the, one, the way you want to separate it, you do not have to use a pick to lift it because it will stay defined. And... Once you create that frizz, you you can't really go back without retwisting it again to fix it. And I have absolute I put the gel in my hair. I have absolutely no idea what that part was in my hair. But interesting. I I was so shook. I knew I had made that mistake. So on here, I'm going to use the curl control and shine mist by Designer Essentials. Design Essentials. And I'm just spraying the front because I'm going to do a, I don't call them like a flat twist. I call it like a, mm, it's like a twist, but it's not a, it's not one of those twists where you use your fingers like you're supposed to. So the second mistake I made was on this part. Instead of me taking my time, see, I'm thinking I've already messed up in the back. So let me just take my time right here and twist my hair over instead of going through and doing it the way I normally would. So I consider myself here saving the twist out. Because of the frizz that I created in my hair with my hands in that pick. Ah, that was so frustrating. But we are on a journey, remember? This is my natural hair journey. So I'm able to recognize my mistakes. I'm able to learn from my mistakes. And I'm able to tell you about them. 
and we move on. So I'm just fluffing up my hair there. Still has definition. Now the back still has definition. It's the top part of the back that I messed up on. But hey, this is it. This is the twist out. You see the definition more at the bottom than you see at the top. And the only way to fix that is for me to learn from my mistakes and make it happen. So if you're new here, go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below. And make sure you click on the notification bell so that you can get all the videos that I'm going to be doing on my natural hair journey. So remember to keep God first in everything that you do. And when I say everything you do, everything you do. See? Everything you do. Alrighty. Y'all have a blessed day.